Good day. I'm here today on this uh, pleasant day in April 2010 to uh, discuss autism, as it is Autism Awareness Month. What is autism? Autism is a disorder of, of neural development characterized by impaired social interaction and communication and by restricted and repetitive behavior. These signs all begin before a child is three years old. Autism affects information processing in the brain by altering how nerve cells and their synapses connect and organize. I was concerned is not well understood. And by the way, I got the information I printed out here from uh, AutismSpeaks.org and the Wikipedia page for autism. Today is estimated that one in every 110 children is diagnosed with autism, making it more common than childhood cancer, juvenile diabetes, and pediatric AIDS combined. An estimated 1.5 million individuals in the United States and tens of millions worldwide are affected by autism. Studies suggest that boys are a lot more likely than girls to develop autism and receive the diagnosis three to four times more frequently. Current estimates are that in the United States alone, one out of 70 boys is diagnosed with autism. As for social symptoms, uh, from the start, typically developing infants are social beings. Early in life, they gaze at people, turn towards voices, grasp a finger, and even smile. By contrast, most, most children with autism seem to have tremendous difficulty learning to engage in the give and take of everyday human interactions. Even in the first year of life, many do not interact and avoid eye contact in a more normal way. They may seem indifferent to other people and prefer being alone. They may resist attention or passively accept hugs and cuddling. Children with autism also are slower in learning to interpret what others are thinking and feeling. Subtle social cues, such as a smile, a wave, or a grimace may have little no meaning to a child with autism. To a child who misses these cues, such things as come here may always mean the same thing, whether the speaker is smiling and extending her arms for a hug, or frowning and planting her fists on her hips. Without the ability to interpret gestures and facial expressions, the social world may seem bewildering. To compound the problem, people with autism have difficulty seeing things from other persons' perspective. Most five-year-olds understand that other people have different thoughts, feelings, and goals when they have than they have. A child with autism may lack such understanding. This inability leaves them unable to predict or understand other people's actions predict or understand people's actions. Although not universal, it is common for people with autism to have difficulty regulating their emotions. This can take the form of immature behavior such as crying in class or vulgar outbursts that may seem inappropriate to those around them. Sometimes they may be destructive and physically aggressive, making social relationships even more difficult. They have a tendency to lose control, particularly when they are in a strange or overwhelming environment or when angry and frustrated. Communication By age three, most children have passed predictable milestones on the path to learning language, while the earliest is babbling. babbling. By the first birthday, a typical toddler says a word or two, turns and looks when he hears his name, points when he wants a toy, and when offered something to say so, makes it clear that the answer is no. Some people with autism remain mute throughout their lives, although the majority develop spoken language and all eventually learn to communicate in some way. Some infants who later show signs of autism coo and babble during the first few months of their life, but they stop. Others may be delayed developing language as late as age 5 to 9. Some children may learn to use communication systems such as pictures to sign, language or closed captioning for the hearing impaired. Some speak only single words while others repeat the same phrase over and over. They may repeat or parrot what they hear, a condition called echolalia. Although many children with autism go through a stage where they repeat what they hear, it normally passes by the time they're, they are age three. Another common difficulty is the inability to understand body language, tone of voice, or phrases of speech. For example, someone with autism might interpret a sarcastic, sarcastic expression such as, Oh, that's just great. 
as meaning it really is great. While it can be challenging for others to understand what children with autism are less able to say, their body language may also be difficult to understand. Facial expressions, movements, and gestures may not match what they are saying. Also, their tone of voice may fail to reflect their feelings. They may use a high-pitched sing-song or flat robot-like voice. Some children with relatively good language skills speak like little adults, failing to pick up on the kids speak. That is common in their peers. Without meaningful gestures or the language to ask for things, people with autism are less able to let other know, others know what they need. As a result, they may simply scream or grab for what they want until they are taught. Their ways to express their needs. Children with autism do whatever they can to get through to others. As they grow up, they can become increasingly aware of their difficulties in understanding others and being understood. Repetitive behaviors. Although children with autism usually appear physically normal, odd repetitive motions may set them apart from other children. These behaviors might be extreme and highly apparent or more subtle. Some, chil some children and other individuals repeatedly flap their arms or walk on their toes. Some suddenly freeze in position. As children, individuals with autism might spend hours lining up their cars and trains in a certain way rather than using them for pretend play. If someone moves one of the toys, the children may, see, may be tremendously upset. Many children with autism need and demand absolute consistency in their environment. A slight change in routine, such as meal times, dressing, take a bath, and going to school at a certain time or by the same route, can be extremely stressful unless the child has made apparent that the change is okay and acceptable. Repetitive behavior sometimes takes a form of a persistent, intense preoccupation. These strong interests may be unusual because of their content or because of the intensity of the interest. Treatment for autism is a very intensive, comprehensive undertaking that involves the child's entire family and a team of professionals. Some programs may take place in the child's home with professionals and trained therapists and may include parental training for the child under supervision of a professional. Some programs are delivered in a specialized center, classrooms, or preschool. But as for me, though, I highly recommend mainstreaming. Let them go through normal life. I mean, yeah, give them a special treatment while they're young. But when you get them in elementary, when you get them in elementary or middle school or high school, mainstream is the way to go. Make sure you find yourself a good social teacher. Teach them how to cope. And as you may have noticed, I am standing here today, topless, as you might say. I do this in defense and in protest because every time because every time I see a male individual who goes around, runs around, or exercises shirtless, it is very offensive to me, and I do not appreciate that. And I'm sure there is a lot of it is offensive to a lot of other people as well. And my opinion, if I could, I would I would say that I would make a law that would require all male individuals to wear a sports bra while they are out exercising or working if they insist on being shirtless. Come on dudes, give it the program. Nobody wants to see these nips and things are better left to mystery. I leave you all with that and you have yourselves a pleasant safe day.